I first started drawing just with a pen and I just loved the uh, way that it felt just to make shapes on the paper. And I used to draw things that sort of looked like maybe a really, uh, really magnified drop of water with sort of shapes, micro, micro organisms, uh, shapes like that. And then I started drawing uh, what I saw. I've always been drawn to um, medieval images, medieval images, illuminated manuscript images, images that use animals and shape and color to tell a story. And maybe you recognize the story or, or maybe you don't recognize the story, but somehow that the image is conveying a meaning that you as the viewer can interpret in your own way. What I think I like about that is the idea that the image can be really old. So those are the images that really speak to me and inspire me. And this painting I'm working on is um, part of a series of uh, monkeys that are riding different animals. A zoo, like a, a zoo caravan of different animals with different monkeys but it also is inspired by a, a real-life story of these two monkeys that fell in love even though one was a city monkey and then when they were discovered sadly they were uh, punished severely <laughs> so expanding on the idea of one painting being a story and having a series of paintings be maybe a longer story This one is a temple monkey over here with the uh, umbrella. So they look a little different. The uh, temple monkeys are a little bit more um, composed and serene. And the city monkeys are a little more theatrical. And that's one of my favorite things about painting is how when you change a color, it changes everything. And I love to um, respond to the color and see how different colors make me feel and uh, sometimes it takes a while to find the right color and sometimes you find the right color right away. So I really love um, wooden prints from textiles like in India. So I think this is from India. This I think is from like Indonesia. It's probably like um, some kind of mark for a company or a product I'm guessing um, and then this is one that I carved it's a fish bone <laughs>